You're welcome back at the same time. This one bring emo clutch. Nam the Kano order ESN operative to, to share his fire return to the forest. IPOB leader Kano stated that intelligence at the disposal stated that the military and the police had agreed to withdraw from the trouble areas. In a brief lead, IPOB leaders Kano stated that intelligence at his disposal stated that the military and the police had agreed to withdraw from their tribal areas. At the same time, the leader of the indigenous people of Brafa, or founder of the East Security Network, Namdi Kano, has called on a member of ESN to share fire with the Nigerian military and return to the forest. All right, at the same time, Nandi Kano in a post on Wednesday evening noted that the based on the intelligence available, the army and the police had withdrawn their operating from the Orulo in the Imo State, so the ESN should also therefore withdraw. All right, according to what he said also, since last Friday, Orulu has been embroiled in a crisis with the resident policemen and the soldiers reportedly, reportedly shoot dead following a clash between the military and the ESN officials in some communities. The soldiers could not arrest any of the ESN operatives who reportedly overpowered the army because of their use of traditional powers. At the same time, the soldiers were said to have withdraw with one of them be seen in a viral video rescue by the some civilian and taken into the private film from the safety from their rap game ECN operative. All right, with a short witness, reportedly sporadic shooting as a resident took cover to avoid street bullets. Five persons, including a middle-aged woman, were said to have been killed by the street bullet from the guns of the Nigeria army. While some properties were born, the soldiers were said to be, be drawn from the 34 Artillery Brigade in Obinze. Alright, on Tuesday, some other state statements in the state also condemned the destruction of life and property in Orulu due to the clash why asking the government to restore law and order all right the stakeholder in a release demanded justice from those who were killed by the military adding that the state governor hope Ndozema, must show leadership at this critical time all right on wednesday evening i leaders Kano stated that the in, in the intelligence at its disposal stated that the military and the police had agreed to withdraw from the trouble area. He also said credible intelligence indicates that the army and police reinforcement deployed from Oweri has been ordered to withdraw from Orulu. In other case, for this reason, I hereby direct the officers and men of the ESN security net network to stop down while remaining vigilant to any full and terrorist activities in Rafa land. In a shortly, several reporter are reported that the a combat aircraft of the Nigerian military parade the tents Orulu community on the Tuesday and Wednesday in a bid to locate an ESN operative accused of killing soldiers and causing am in the area he also said the aircraft had recant the attention of the resident who believed that the aircraft was sent to the locate and engage the esn operative according to sarah report again as seen a video of the military aircraft hovering over an area of the tree there. A helicopter has been deployed in Orulu. The military has been overring over the civilian homes. They should go to the forest and eject the ESN operative. There is a tension where everywhere and the residents who did not wish to be identified are said. 
But Namdeka no noted that the ESN official should withdraw as the military as the police has also agreed to withdraw their mayor. All right, in brief, let's just shut on the case. What I try to big you out on this news today is that Namdekano said on his own that if all the military and policemen, I mean, have stopped and withdraw, and withdraw then, then too we withdraw also. At the same time, he also said that some military, some police and army have already withdraw, ready to withdraw. But now then ready to withdraw also. But he told all these guys to be getting ready for the Fulani X Men in case they can enter at any time. On Tuesday, some other statements in the Imo State also com condemn the destruction of life and property in Orulu due to the clash while asking the government to restore the law and the orders. Also on Wednesday evening, I probably that Kano stated that in intelligence and his disposal stated that the military and the police had agreed to withdraw from the trouble areas. Sarah reports had reported that a combat aircraft of the Nigeria military parade the tents of Orulu community on Tuesday and Wednesday in a bite to locate and engage ESN operative accused of killing soldiers and causing many arms in the area. All right, time to be with FRT and Worldwide News Entertainment. Now we're going. We'll be back.